Hello everyone. Today I have a review of this 2012 Chevy Tahoe LT Texas Edition. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Has your typical older style GM key with lock, unlock, secondary glass release, panic button, and remote start, which I'll demonstrate. Just make sure the vehicle is locked and then just press and hold. And it'll fire right up. And if you want to get in and drive, just unlock it with the key or the key fob. And then all you have to do is put your key in the um, ignition, but don't start it or anything. And it'll just activate your electronics. This Tahoe is in this red color. I'll put it on screen right now. But it is a very nice looking car. It is a bit dirty as it just rained and um, it's driven on a dirt road. But we'll go ahead and hop in. Has a beige interior with leather padding and fake wood inserts. This vehicle does have a headlight chime. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up. Has your typical Chevrolet key. As you can see, this one does have 224,206 miles. So, let's go ahead and start it up. All you have to do is flick to start. Sounds good. Comes with a four spoke leather wrapped steering wheel with um, silver inserts. Has fairly tight power steering for being parked. Parking brakes located down here. And this one comes with a six speed automatic transmission, which is column mounted. And when you have it in M, you can select the gears by pressing this button, or the plus and minus, tow haul mode on the end. And your gears are shown in the gauge cluster. And in reverse, you get a backup camera, and that single beep you heard was the backup sensors. So we'll go ahead and turn on the automatic lights, fog lights, and the hazards. And we'll take a look at the outside. It does appear all the windows are fully automatic. We'll test that in a moment. You do have turn signal indicators in the mirrors. And as you can see, it's very nice. One of the more random things I like about cars is if they have a loud engine fan. But that one's kind of ridiculous, but I like how that sounds. Okay. My time out here is running out, so I am going to get in and shut all the windows because I just felt rain. Real quick though, we'll, oh, looks like they're all automatic down. Oh, nope. Alright, the front two windows are automatic down. But we'll go ahead and turn off the hazards, turn off the fog lights, and cut the lights back to auto. And hopefully if I turn off the AC... I don't think that fan's gonna turn off. But we'll go ahead, give it a few revs. And 
probably get a few with the door closed. Rev limiter about 4200 RPM. This Tahoe comes with GM's LMG 5.3 liter overhead valve V8 with 16 valves, variable valve timing, flex seal, and AFM, making 320 horsepower at 5400 RPM and 335 pound feet of torque at 4000 RPM. <laughs> Very nice sounding engine. Go ahead and turn the AC back on because it is very hot today. It says 92 degrees outside. <clears throat> to the left of the steering column, you do have your lights controls. Um, you have your dome light on and off switch, gauge dimmer, fog light, a little storage tray, one vent. Then on the door, you have your heated seat controls. Yes, just heated at the top only and then heated at the bottom and the top. Um, you get your door handle. Your mirror controls select left and it'll illuminate the light on whichever one you have selected middle is off or just none of them the lights are on or off then you have your d-pad for controlling the mirror this button actually allows you to automatically fold in your mirror on both sides which i did not realize this car had you get all four of your power windows, um, window lock, and your door locks. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your turn signal slash wiper stock. Um, on the steering wheel itself, you do have your cruise control, um, volume and um, channel controls, um, skip, source, and your blue uh, call answer button. This one also doubles as a call hang up button and your voice controls. Ready? Cancel.
cancel. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> On the gauge cluster itself, you do have your oil pressure, your fuel gauge, um, tachometer, um, speedometer, battery, and engine temperature. Then you have your information display along with your gear display. Um, by using these buttons over here, you can go through a lot of information. check button to select whatever selection you may have chosen in the settings menu. Um, in the center console area you do get two vents with um, sliders to disable it. Um, here in the center you have your radio which is just pretty basic. You have your favorites menu and then your button um, buttons for all of whatever it shows on the display. Um, your time, your um, audio settings and then clock adjustment jack for disc I'm not sure what cat is band seek seek um, power on and off in your volume control rewind or yeah rewind and fast forward CD aux and then below that um, you also have your aux cord you have your climate controls with fan speed temperature auto, front defrost, recirc air, um, rear air controls, your zones, your uh, passenger temperature, um, climate controls on and off, rear defrost, air, condi air conditioner, and passenger. Um, you also have your pedal adjustments. Then you have your parking sensors on and off and your traction control on and off. You get two 12 volt power outlets. Down here, you do get a little bit of storage. This tray with the cup holders can come out. I'm not going to take it out though, and that would just give you more space. Here in the center console, you do get a pretty big um, center console with large armrests on both sides. And opening it, it is a very big center console. Up here, you do get your vi windshield. Um, up here you get your sun visor with mirror and lights and I believe yes it does um, extend out whenever you pull it to the side you get two dome lights um, passenger airbag off indicator um, on your mirror you do get OnStar and your dimmer on and off along with your rear view camera that I mentioned earlier down here you do have your hood release and your parking brake and then this seat is manual recline with forward and backward um, electronic adjustment. And then you also have your manual lumbar support. Oh, and it's also electronic. It's electronic height adjustment as well. And that sums up the driver's area of the front of the vehicle. And we'll go ahead and get to the passenger side. On the passenger side of the Tahoe, it is mostly the same as the driver's side. This seat is pushed way up. I don't know why. You get a really large um, glove box, um, heated seats on this side, your window control, and your door locks. Then on both the front, or the passenger and the driver's side, you do get some storage on the door. And like the driver's seat, manual recline, power forward and back and up and down for the front and back part of the seat and the manual lumbar. In the back seat of the Tahoe, you get a pretty good amount of room. This is not representative though because both seats are kind of pushed up, but you do get a good amount of room regardless, even when the seats are pushed all the way back. Um, not as much as a minivan, but still, 
get mat pockets back here. You got your rear climate controls, a 12 volt outlet, and some cup holders. Up here, this one was equipped with a DVD system. I do not know if it's aftermarket or not. You also get two dome lights, your vents, and then in the center seat, you do get two cup holders and an armrest. And we'll go ahead and check out the third row in the back. To get to the third row, you just pull this lever, then this part of the seat comes down, and you pull it again, and the seat will come up. But as you can see, the third row has been taken out, so we'll just put that back, and we'll get to the, um, the rear cargo area. LT badging on the side with Tahoe and flex seal badging on the tailgate. Um, to open your secondary window, just press and hold here. Or your top glass is what I've been meaning to say. And you get access to the cargo area without having to open the tailgate. Then shut it, just push it. Then to open the tailgate, just pull on the button or push on the button on the handle and it'll open do get a good amount of room back here without the third row with the third row it probably would go to about right here not very much space but if you're only carrying five or five people around this would be good you get a 12 volt outlet i'm guessing the jack is in here um you do get cup holders on one side but not the other And then you have a pull strap and a normal handle grip to shut it. <clears throat> you get your field door, which you just push to open. And then on the driver's side of the rear, you do, it's the exact same. You do not get storage on either side of the rear um, doors. But that concludes this review of this 2012 Chevy Tahoe LT Texas Edition. Thank y'all so much for watching, and have a good day. Um, on the gauge cluster, you do have your coolant or engine temp. Um, I'm wrong three times.